All right, so after grinding for around a day or two, I finally decided to get Wolf Level 6. Now, for those who don't know, Wolf Level 6 gives you pretty good things, such as the Mana Flux, or which I will be working for in a bit. And, of course, Massive Armor, which is, well, the armor to give the most HP, basically. So, if we go to this chest right here, you guys can see we have exactly enough materials to craft this Massive Armor. So, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, so at this point I was three-fourths of the set and I didn't really know that you needed enchanted diamonds to craft the boots and legs, so yeah. So I, I guess I'll be back. Alright, so without holding my sword or anything like that, I currently have 8,796 health. This comes in with the talismans that I actually have in my talisman bag. But with all the talismans that I currently have, I have 11,900 health. And th these are the talismans that I have extra. Keep in mind, I don't have any growth or protection. So let's go ahead and add that and let's see how much of a difference it actually makes. All right, there we go. Now I have 12,000 health. Um, that's quite good. And when I hold a 50 mil minus, I get 5,000 extra health. So that puts me at 17,146 health. Now let's mess around with reforge. All right, so I have to reforge in my armor for a bit. Um, I got godly on three pieces and strong, which I just realized strong is a bit better since, you know, it does 50 per crit damage. Now let's mess around with talisman reforges. All right, so with all my talismans converted to itchy to get the most amount of crit damage and my Midas sword, well, well not my Midas sword, but yeah, basically I get 20k strength at the moment. But to be real, you guys didn't just want to know how much I could get. You guys want to know how good is it against bosses? Well, let's try out. Now I'm also going to be testing out the Shaman Sword as I know that's something a lot of you actually want to know. So the first one I'm going to start off is this fan. Alright so let's quickly try out how much this Shaman Sword does with 15k health. It's not maxed out or even enchanted at all but it does 4600 damage. Let's try that again real quick. Bam. Yeah so it does around 4600 without any enchants or anything like that. Now one thing to keep in mind that with this set is that you do way less damage. Like for example with a Midas I usually do like 30k. To where now I barely do like 9k. Alright, so we're about to spawn the boss. Let's just hope that this guy doesn't ruin it for us. Please don't take out your bow. I saw you with a bow earlier. Alright, there we go. Let's place down our radiant orb and let's just try to kill this. Now, overall, this is gonna be extremely slow as you know we don't do that much damage, and I also have to use a shaman sword to switch. and it just regenerated well the one thing i was trying to tell you guys not to do just happened so this is gonna take extremely long all right so i'm not gonna say that this set isn't good for fighting wolves um you can definitely kill it i'm just kind of a noob and i didn't really play that so tactically so i'm just gonna count it as a yes that you can kill it um i'm just a poor example of that all right so next i'm gonna do revenant and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the tarantula last because well tarantula is just like somewhat the hardest boss that no one can defeat I don't really know much about the actual Revenant as I haven't really grinded that part of the whole thing yet. Alright, so I don't really know that much about the Revenant as I don't really grind Revenant at all. I just barely started grinding this weekend because I don't really have enough time. But if it doesn't do that much damage, then I should be good through this whole thing. Now, another thing is that with Revenant and Tarantula, I'm not going to be switching unless I switch to my Recluse Fang on Tarantula. But for this one, I'm going to be staying here, so I'm going to be staying at a constant 20k. And it's not horrible, as I can still, you know, one-shot the, the crib goals, so it's overall not that bad. And right about now. Alright, yep, there we go. Let's place our Radiant Orb, and let's try to fight this. Whoa, okay, what is happening? And we failed, okay. All right, so let's test this out now. I'm gonna go ahead and place my thing. I'm at full HP. Come on, bam, there we go. All right, let's, we just spawned it and... Oh my God.
All right, so no luck with that one either, but Tarantula is the hardest. But overall, what I want to say is, all right, so take what you want from this video. But what I'm saying is that I'm not the best person to actually be doing these bosses as I don't really know that much about the game. I might have been fighting the bosses wrong and sometimes I didn't have the right amount of health. But overall, I don't have enough time to do this video and I kind of wanted to post it today. So yeah. All right, so since I wasn't the most stacked player in the game, I gave it to someone named Dragon Ball or I lent it to him to try it out and help me with this video. So basically, I'm going to be comparing my stats versus his as he is more stacked than I am as he has more talismans and all of that. So yeah. All right. So with the whole set on Dragon Boy actually gets 15,000 health, 153 strength, 118 speed, 76 crit chance and 248 damage. So now when he holds a sword and I believe he has the same Midas sword. Yeah. So he gets this could update 20,000. 721 hp which overall isn't um as bad as mine i think he gets more than me actually just by a little bit but yeah let's quickly go to the actual ruins and just okay or here i guess yeah all right so dragon boy just got most of his talismans to itch yet all except for one i believe and he's currently at 22,000 health now let's actually see how much damage he does with this and will this even be good for bosses uh that's let's just see Okay, so he does around 14,000 damage with this. All right, wait, actually, hold on. Place your orb. I want to see how much damage you do with your orb place, and because that gives you like 10 extra strength. So you hit it. Okay, yeah, so he does do four. Okay, yeah. All right, everyone, so I believe that my problem was that I didn't have all the talismans, and overall, not having all of them puts you at a great disadvantage with this set. I'm going to be keeping it mainly because I believe it's going to be buffed. Because, I mean, it can't just be like left like this. But yeah, overall, I hope you guys did end up enjoying this. Um, I do definitely think that you can solo the bosses. Maybe all except for Tarantula. Because you kind of need like the... Um, you kind of need the Tarantula set and all that for that. So, yeah. Alright, so think what you want from this video. All I'm saying is that I didn't have all the talismans. So, don't base it off me. Um, you can base it off Dragon as he is a pretty stacked player. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Join my Discord. Peace out.